In step 7, we're going to open up the index file for the product manager. And um, just to review, notice that this is um, requiring including all of the um, model files with the code. And um, what we're doing right off the bat is just finding out what the action is. So if, um, if there's been a post with an action, um, then we assign that value to the action. Um, with a get, um, if there's an action sent by the get in the query string of the URL, then we assign the action there. And if neither of those is the case, then the action is set to list products. So um, the rest of this code, it's just like an if-then-else statement. If-then-else-else-else-else. So if the action is list products, then we're going to do the stuff to list the products. Um, else, if the action is delete products, we're going to do the stuff to delete the product, um, etc. So what we want to do now is just add in the code um, for three actions, um, list categories, add category, and delete category. Now, I don't have a lot of um, coding in here. I just want to get the skeleton in here and then, you know, just make sure I know what I'm doing. So to list the categories, the first thing that we would need to do is get the category data and then show the list page. And um, this is the code that goes to the list page. So if we go in and test this, then that link to the category list should work and um, and uh, it should go take us to this um, category list.php. Now there's not, not going to be any data there because I haven't done any of that processing yet, but we can test that just to make sure that this works. And um, you know for the add category, then we just kind of have this series of steps. We want to start by getting the category data. We want to validate the input, um, add the category, and then show the category list, which is this action right here. So that's why we would put that in the URL. Um, so remember that what this header is doing is, is it's loading the current page because no um, no file name is listed here. It's loading the current page um, with this in the URL. Remember that um, this is just a query string so that means it's the same as a get. Um, so when we go back around to the top then it's going to assign that action in this line right here. Um, so for the delete, again, we need the category ID and this is coming from the form at this point. Um, and then uh, we need to delete, actually do the delete and then again show the category list. So just um, after you get this part in, you, you want to go back and then just test, um, just click on list categories. Remember last time we did this nothing happened but now at least the page loads so um, and notice the URL up here is just um, uh, list categories for the action so that part is showing up in the query string so we know that that code that we just put in is working.